Okay, this arena run shows off a tiger, snake, whale, orca combo. Pretty much my idea was how can I get the most triggers off of tiger, snake? Originally, I was kind of going with just like an eagle and then a fly to get like two extra spawns and then maybe give like the eagle a pepper so it guarantees uh, lives one hit or I mean sometimes it can get popped by like mosquito, lynx, leopard, that kind of stuff. But I figured this has even more possibility for more snipes. So whale orca. It seems like a weird thing to whale because it's not very strong. But it gives you so many possibilities of getting more faint abilities. Because the whale, so pretty much if we count it up, if the whale has a pepper, then the whale could activate two hits. And then it will die, it will spawn orca for the third. And then the orca could die and spawn something like a rooster which would be four and then you would get five so that would be five triggers off of tiger snake and then also i put a toad in the team so that uh, everything on their team would be weakened and deal even more damage because like some of the teams i would lose to would be like uh lemon teams or garlic teams because usually the snake wasn't super high level but anyway as for the actual run i got early capybara and early clownfish which is uh, both amazing tier threes uh, it's really hard to lose from this point to be honest um, a lot of times what I was doing is I was trying to purposely draw the first couple rounds because one thing that I was finding was like I have to get a lot of tier sixes in this run I have to get orca tiger snake and uh, that's pretty tricky to actually get like those to high levels if you're ending on like turn you know 12 13 something like that because you just unlocked them so I found the best way to just elongate the game is to draw the first couple rounds. Um, nearly choking on myself, great. And it's actually, it's uh, it's not that hard. Like, it, I sometimes just abandon if I, like, win the first two rounds or lose the first two rounds. Actually, losing is fine because, like, you can lose... The first four rounds, you go down to four hearts, you're not even on lethal, and then you're guaranteed to go at least to turn 14, which is kind of nice. So that's also a strat to do, but um, yeah, normally like the old strat was to go badger. I haven't really experimented too, with it too much anymore. I feel like badger is just a bad unit, but if I get super far ahead, then maybe like putting a badger in the back would kind of work. Anyway, you can see the massive stats I was able to get here. I got level 2 Clownfish, level 2 Capybara, and suddenly I have a 12-14, 11-12, and a 12-9, and it's turn 6. So I'm just so far ahead in stats. Plus, I got double pill, double turtle frozen, which is perfect. The one thing I know that's going to stick around is the Toad. So I'm going to melon the Toad, and then I'll probably just melon like, the strongest unit to make sure I don't lose. And I also got a penguin in the shop with three level twos, which is just perfect. Um, if this was like just a run trying to win, this would pretty much be it. I've won. I've done it. It was that easy. Just find a penguin on turn seven with this team and I'm good. But um, instead, I'm going to use it to crazily pivot into things that are completely unnecessary. But you know what? It's fun. And that's what I'm doing in these arena runs anyway. Just trying to have fun, kind of. And also, I mean, I do get a little bit tilted when I'm, like, going with these meme teams and then I lose. I'm like, why? Why are they trying so hard to beat my teams? I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> and then I just get mad about it. But, yeah. All right. So this is a custom pack. Uh, probably should mention that. Um, in order to pivot uh, efficiently, I'm trying to buy as many cans as possible. Looking for a turkey and lobster. Uh... Okay, decide to sell Penguin, who needs scaling? Instead, let's just immediately roll into a pill. That was extremely lucky. Normally, it takes much longer to find a pill than that. Uh, and then there's the Whale. So yeah, buying the Whale in turn 9 wouldn't really recommend. But it's also an 11-12. Just put it in front so it doesn't waste some of the stats. And then I fight the same person... Is this like three times in a row? I can't even remember. This is at least two times. But I think I just faced that team like three times in a row. Okay, goodbye, beaver. Uh, decide to buy a cow, even though it's not really necessary. Milk up the whale. Uh, yeah, I usually prefer buying pepper over melon, because like, eventually you're facing 50-50s, and they get one shot through melon, so it's not really super useful. But pepper, live with 1 HP, that's very helpful. And there's the pepper, perfect. Freeze that chocolate. Uh, I don't know if I actually got any early tier 6s. I was doing so many runs where I would get like early snake or like early fly and then it just i don't know it still would lose this took me a lot longer than i thought it would take to actually get a run like this 
And it's a loss. Okay. Luckily, I have maximum hearts, so I have plenty of time to throw while I'm trying to pivot here. There's the Orca. Get plus four, plus two from the Capybara. Plus, I think I bought like two cans. So its stats are already at 12-12, but it's going to be swallowed, so that's a complete waste anyway. Anyway, the Orca can summon anything with a faint ability. That means it can be helpful, and it also can be like just catastrophic, like it can summon a microbe. Toad counters these elephant builds so well, which I hate losing to elephant builds, and I love the Toad for being able to counter it. Um, I could actually take Melon for the Orca here, because like there's quite a few sniper teams. I can't tell you how many runs died to sniper teams. Like I ran into so many. I did not realize that there were so many sniper teams, but a lot of Lynx teams I ended up running into and just losing because of it. Alright, freezing a 1-up. I probably should have gone for a level 2 whale, but I guess I really wanted level 3 toad, which is pretty nice to get weakness on all their entire team. Don't want anything to slip past. And then tiger, whale, orca. So this should be interesting. Summon two orcas, and then also I have a tiger behind it for some interesting possibilities. You can see the leopard killed the tiger though, so didn't really get what I wanted. The turtle spawn was really clutch. Did not matter. Still lost. And also, you can see it summoned a Dirty Rat, which is probably one of the worst possible things, because that probably is just going to help out the enemy. Actually, yeah, the Dirty Rat will just, it'll summon a Dirty Rat, which will pop my pepper, right? So that's really sad. I'm taking a melon so that the tiger does not get sniped again. And there's the snake. Pretty happy about that. I was also doing some runs where I did Whale White Tiger. It, it did not work very well, but it was interesting. Another Lynx team. What did I tell you about running into these Lynx teams? Like, suddenly everyone's going Lynx and a Snake. This is might be problematic. It's only level 1. There goes the Tiger. The Tiger Bear, I don't think it would have done anything. Okay, it's a draw. Very lengthy, a lot of summons. But here we go. Finally, I get the build that I want. And I put a 1-up on this snake, which means it spawns two things, which means there's a tiger snake snake. So we get an extra trigger off of tiger snake. So I guess this is a total of six, right? I think it was five before. We could get six possible tiger snake triggers, which is kind of crazy. I mean, it's only dealing 10 damage each, but like at level three, that's a lot of damage. Okay, a leopard, stegosaurus leopard is kind of scary. The orca spawns a turtle, which actually just hurts me and causes me to draw because it replaced the one up and it got one shot through melon, so it's completely useless. The orca has screwed me over so many times. What's with this? It's like it's trying to make me lose. You're supposed to make me win, orca. Come on. All right, lucky got level two tiger next turn. And now this time it won't screw me over, right? Surely, like, oh my god, the hedgehog. I can't even, like, I don't remember. I did this run not that long ago, but still, it's so sad to see. I'm still going to win, but I'm never going to get to see all the triggers. Like, something's going to go wrong, and I'm not going to get to see all five or six uh, tiger snake hits. But man, there's a lot of faint abilities that are not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for like cricket, spider, rooster, something like that, please. Okay, level 2 vulture is kind of scary because it definitely could snipe my team. This is where like buying all the cans and the capybara buffs really come in handy so that my team doesn't die here. And you can see, this was a lot of triggers. It summoned a shark, so I missed out on one. Plus, we didn't even get to see the tiger 1-up stuff happen. So just beautiful to see. And look at that, two level two and two thirds. That's kind of unsatisfying to see. You want to see those level threes, but uh, I don't remember what if this is the last round. Okay, a hedgehog toad blowfish team. Luckily, I also have a toad, so their team's going to get weakened and is probably going to cause all their team to die. And it summoned a stork, which would be great. That is something that has a faint ability that gives me one more trigger. Okay, got another snake. Level three snake, 15 damage. I forget how many triggers I said, it was either 5 or 6, but assuming it's 5, 30 damage each, that's uh, it's a lot of damage. So, okay, skunk doesn't matter, but then the bear replaces the pepper so it dies in one hit. And then a microbe, of course, dude, and then I lose because of the microbe. Like that team, it looked really strong, a lot of 50-50s, but I'm pretty sure I win as long as we get pretty lucky with the orca spawns. I haven't actually looked at like how many things screw me over, but it seems like quite a few. Um, and then I could chocolate whale. The reason I didn't go for level two whales because the orca would spawn two things, and that just doubles the possibility of screwing me over pretty much. So <laughs> I actually did not want that. And then, okay, raccoon, level two skunk. Dude, 
a bear twice in a row and then a dirty rat not very helpful unfortunate and okay and then it steals melon all and that's it yeah nine wins i didn't even get to 10 wins with this team but like with some better luck we could have beat that team i think but that's it thanks for watching see ya